So earlier today, I was on Twitter, and uh, I follow a lot of the uh, people from my college, a, a decent amount, and then I follow some other people um, that, you know, are related either to my high school or something along those lines, or friends of friends. Just uh, I follow quite a few people, uh, some of whom I know, some of whom I don't, and I went on a following spree a little while ago, and uh, I followed like 150 people, and I noticed that soon after there are about five girls on my timeline who would rather frequently retweet or tweet feminist stuff that's fine you know you can you can have your own opinions about things i don't really care however uh three of them were uh retweeting the disgusting annoying like really bad feminism stuff that just pisses me off that the stuff that makes me an anti-feminist to be honest uh basically the man hating and um such thing and things with like rape, ha redefining rape to be just this this disgusting like retarded thing. It's just it's bad, and it, I can't put into words just how bad it is. But they retweeted that, and so those three girls I unfollowed almost instantly, just because I don't want to see that shit on my timeline. The other two retweet the you know the the more moderate feminine stuff, the fe feminine <laughs> feminist stuff. Um. Uh, you know, like uh, the uh, free the nipple stuff, um, things about how girls should be treated differently. You know, th the stuff that I, I disagree with, um, well, I don't like, disagree with free the nipple, but I disagree with a lot of the, the stuff that the moder moderate feminists um, try for, but I, I don't hate that stuff. It's not disgusting. Everyone has their own ideals, and those are ideals that I can live with. If they became true, I could live with. They wouldn't be that. They wouldn't be that bad. But I disagree with them. Simple as that. So I don't unfollow those girls. They, you know, it's, um, it's not that bad. But one of them retweeted something recently that, kind of. It it it, it it's not really disgusting, but it shows how feminists or feminism, um, is misguided. It shows how feminism doesn't a attack the right ideas instead of addressing the things that should be addressed they address the stupid petty things like uh, man spreading for one and so she retweeted this thing and basically it's the the the, um, the text says I want to tattoo these images on my forehead so everyone can see and it's uh, I believe four different images yeah four different images um, each related to uh, feminism and it's something they um, they want to say now I should also say this uh, each one of the pictures says it has a picture of something and then it says why why are you so offended 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 and it's uh, so four pictures and so I'm gonna go over each one and just point out the the flaws in what's being uh, what's being said so um, the first one um, so e each one of these is about like why are you so offended well, the first one is a picture of a uh, a girl going like this, putting her arms in the air. She's wearing a tank top, a purple or a pink tank top, and then she's got um, hairy armpits. Not like um, not like tons of hair in the armpits, but she does have like some hair in her armpits. And it's why are you so offended? My problem with this is no one is offended by girls having hair in their armpits. Um, my sister recently, uh, uh, somewhat recently, came out as a lesbian. And uh, that's one thing she does is she doesn't uh, not all the time, but she she doesn't always shave her armpits. And so what? I'm not offended by that. None of my none of my family's members were offended by that. No one no one gets offended by you not shaving your armpits. It's a preference that some people have men and women in in terms of attraction to women. But that doesn't mean you have to follow it. I mean, if you're talking about labels that should be. That that are generalizations that you're you're just saying should be required. Um, well, what about the generalization that guys should be all muscly, that guys should be super ripped? Should I be advocating that? Why are you so offended that you know I'm skinny and I don't, I don't have all that much muscle? Like th these are just preferences based on the other gender. No one is requiring you to shave your armpits if you want to have the biggest bush coming out of your arm. Go right ahead. You might be made fun of, but that's your choice. No one is offended by you having hairy armpits, and no one is offended by you shaving your armpits. 
No one is requiring you to, to shave your armpits. Plain and simple. Image number one, done. Let's move on to the second one. So the second one is very similar. It's a picture of two legs um, animated. Uh, all these are animated, by the way. And um, I think there's a, like a tattoo or something on the leg, which isn't that big of a deal. But guess what? Hairy legs. Obviously, it's about the same thing here. Um, no one is requiring you to shave your legs. Actually, most girls, especially during the winter, don't shave their legs very often because they wear pants a lot, so their legs are covered. But girls do this because they know guys often prefer having shaved legs. Uh, and uh, oftentimes, I hear girls um, ha prefer having shaved legs. My girlfriend shaves her le legs for herself. She does it for me, too, because, you know, it's more of a feminine type thing, kind of like it's masculine to be muscular. Um, but she, she, do she does it because she it feels good. She When she uh, shaves her legs, she rubs her legs, and she's like, ah, oh, smooth, it feels so good. Well, no one's requiring her to do that. No one. If you want to grow the hair out on your legs, go right ahead. No one is stopping you. No one's offended by you having hairy legs. I've I've seen girls with rather hairy legs, and guess what? I wasn't the least bit offended by it. Not one bit. And no one is requiring you to do it. Once again, it's just a social preference that guys have towards girls, and girls have towards girls, that can be countered with a something that girls prefer with guys. These You're just talking about preferences, and no matter what, you're not going to change it because there are girls out there who like to shave their legs and who like the feeling of shaved legs. And so if you don't shave your legs and another girl shaves her legs, well, the preferences are going to be on the girl that shaves her legs. So you can choose to shave your legs or not shave your legs. It's completely your choice. On to the third image. So this one, um, I, I think I understand what it's getting across. It's the picture of a, um, a midsection uh, or like a stomach and then groin and then top of legs and they're wearing just underwear and I think this is about being uh, chubby um, because the stomach looks like it is kind of uh, like it, it, it there's more more of a stomach there it looks like it's kind of an overweight person especially the, the legs look pretty big too and once again there's like a, a heart tattoo on the stomach um, and so if you're talking about girls, you know, the, the thing about how girls should be skinny, this once again goes back into everything I could say about the first two pictures. No one is requiring you to be skinny, and even though it is healthier to be skinny. Um, it's just a personal preference that guys have. You can put on as much weight as you want. You can weigh as much as you want and try to find them. Um, there are guys who will be attracted to you. There are guys who like bigger women. But the uh, overall preference is... Guys prefer skinny girls, just like girls prefer thinner guys. If, if a girl, <laughs> a, a girl wouldn't be attracted to this kind of stomach on a guy. So why the hell should a guy be attracted to this kind of stomach on a girl? That's like a serious double standard right there because I hear girls talk about guys that are overweight all the time. It's not just guys who say they want skinny girls. There are girls, I wouldn't say skin, girls don't want skinny guys, but girls want thin guys, guys without fat, like a lot of fat on their body. They don't like that. Same with guys. It's personal preference. No one is offended by you being overweight. I see, I live in the U.S., so I see overweight people every freaking day, every day, and none of it offends me. I don't go, wow, that person is overweight. You offend me. I n I've never done that. I've never seen anyone get offended by someone being overweight or, a well, specifically a girl being overweight. I've never seen it. The personal preference for guys, yes, is skinnier girls, but so what? That's just a preference. No one's requiring you to be skinny. If you want to pack on the pounds, go right ahead. If you already have pounds, if you're already overweight, you're beautiful the way you are, but more guys will prefer you skinny. I'm not telling you to lose weight. I'm not telling you to develop an eating disorder. I'm just telling you what the social norm is that you should already know. If you have a problem with that, well, so what? You're not going to change anything. Once again, there are girls out there who prefer to be skinny, and so that will always take precedent. You will never change society as a whole to prefer girls thicker. And if you're talking about the stereotype where, uh, you know, girls are beautiful no matter what, well, I agree that everyone has their own type of beauty, 
but there are things that I'm attracted to and things that I'm not attracted to. An overweight girl is one of the things I'm not attracted to. I can't help it. That's just how I am. I'm not attracted to overweight people at all. Sp- well, girls, I'm only attracted to girls, but still. <sighs> on to the fourth image. The fourth image, this is the only one where I have actually seen people get offended by. Um, this is a picture of a woman breastfeeding a child, still animated. Um, and, like, it's uh, probably in public. Um, and, like, her nipple is showing. And you can just see everything. This is something that I have seen um, people get offended by, I guess. Um, I think it's perfectly natural. I mean, a lot of girls will say that they would never breastfeed in public. Um, but, hold on. Oh, sorry, I was really warm. Um, a lot of girls will say they won't breastfeed in public, but no one is going to make them breastfeed in public or in private like yeah i this is this is one where i agree that people some people get offended most of the people just get grossed out you know this isn't something they want to see a lot of guys me included get turned off when they see a woman breastfeeding even if even though yeah i like boobs um it's it's kind of a turn off um i don't know why i can't really describe it but i'm not i'm not necessarily grossed out by it and i will never judge a woman who's breastfeeding in, a, breastfeeding in public because breastfeeding is a necessity for the kid. I understand that. I would never I would never judge someone for breastfeeding in public or breastfeeding anywhere that they, they so choose. But it's just a, a personal preference once again. But I do agree. This is the only picture I agree with that people get offended by it. People shouldn't get offended by it. However, feminism will not ever make that change because feminism takes a very bad approach at things and um, feminism is has always been successful at making people dislike the movement itself by going at things the absolute wrong way and it's just if you want to change things number one absolutely most important thing is just don't be fucking petty like this a woman if you're like off- if if you think people get offended by you having hair in your armpits then you don't understand society you don't don't be petty about the things that you're trying to fight for wave 1 of the feminist movement the f- first wave feminists were fighting for wi- women's suffrage which is a huge thing the right to vote that's huge second wave feminists Uh, fought for equality in the workplace. That also is huge. Equality in the workplace. Third wave feminists, manspreading, growing hair in your armpits, growing hair on your legs, it's okay to be overweight, and breastfeeding in public. You've really gone petty. Really gone petty. So don't be so petty. Number two, don't take things in such a hateful approach. Don't come at Everyone, don't blame society for these things because it's not society's fault. But most of all, don't blame men and don't blame the uh, uh, supposed patriarchy. If you want to make a change, target things that deserve to be targeted. For example, free the nipple. I agree that free the nipple is something that, even though it's not the biggest deal in the world, it's something that should be equal rights. That is something where... I feel like it's a right for men. I could show my nipple right now on this on this video. I'm not going to, but I could, and nothing would happen. YouTube wouldn't take down my video. Nothing would happen. However, if uh, my counterpart, a girl, were to come on and flash her nipple, then the video would get taken down for nudity. I agree that women should be able to show just as much of their body as men. However, if you want to talk about socially acceptable... Well, how come it m- men are made fun of if they wear Speedos about the same size as a bikini? Hmm? That's kind of a... Uh, just w- wanted to throw back at you. I'm not interested in wearing a thong, by the way, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, but yeah, so just anyone, any feminist who's watching this video, don't be so petty. Understand what you're arguing for. And... Argue in the right way. Take things the right way. Don't do it in an unprofessional, 
very sickening way, like most of these radical and uh, more um, uh, strong feminists do. It's it, it makes a bad name for feminism. It makes people not take feminism seriously. Feminism could be a lot better than it is, and I don't ever see it improving because feminists think they're hot shit. They think they're making all these huge changes in the world when they're not going to, which sucks. But, yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a nice day.